These days, security cameras are almost everywhere. They're inside our homes, offices, schools, and daycares. We count on them to keep a watchful eye while we're away. But what if the one thing we relied on for security actually did more harm than good? You know, the moment you connect something to the internet, it immediately becomes a, a target out there for anybody. This is a new way of extorting people. Even when you're not looking, someone could be watching you. Websites like this one called instacam.org find loopholes to break into the same camera you've set up for your protection. They're integrated into everything. There are thousands of unsecured cameras streaming on this website. Cybersecurity expert Steve Hasselback says just about anybody can locate those loopholes for misuse. How easy is it? Well, the tools are already out there to do it. It's just somebody needs to somebody who wants to with the time and effort to make it happen. And it happens a lot. Thanks to a simple search feature on Instacam, I was able to pull up cameras found in the Tampa Bay area, along with the exact addresses of some of those camera locations, like this one at USF. It shows what appears to be a student working on an assignment. We blurred the face to protect that student's privacy. When we showed this to the university, USF responded quickly by shutting the camera down and reviewing its entire camera network. USF released a statement saying IT staff will continue to actively monitor the network for vulnerabilities to prevent this from occurring in the future. I was also able to track down an orthodontic office in Manatee County. Though they declined to comment, this surveillance camera shows patients walking in and out of the office. This kind of hacking isn't just limited to your home and office security cameras. It could literally be staring you in the face. Cameras are in your computers, your laptops, your cell phones, and even in that video game console sitting in your family room. So what if they could hack that system, get control of that camera, and now they have, they can do lots of things with that. Now they can not just see you, they can record you. And once they have that recording, they can post that out onto the internet, which is exactly what's happening. But who's watching these cameras and why? Motives range from voyeurism to extortion. And one of the scary parts of all of this, once it's on the internet, it's there for good. You can try and have it taken down, but once something's on the internet, it's, it's, it's up there forever. So how concerned should we be? Uh, extremely concerned. So how can you protect yourself from hackers? Well, here are some ways. When you're in the market for a security camera, buy a brand name. In this case, a cheaper deal isn't a better deal. Lower cost cameras won't provide the security patches you will need during the course of the camera's life. Replace your camera every two years. And if you can, change the password and do it immediately. From the control room, Marissa Lynn, Fox 13 News.